Welcome ladies and children to week two of our Sugar Talk. I hope you're all well and I'm sorry that I can't be with you once again this week. So this week we're going to have a look at what is too much sugar. So we'll be looking at what the daily recommended allowances are and where all the sugar is to be found in food. The maximum daily allowances are for four to six year olds, five sugar lumps, for seven to 10 year olds, it's seven sugar lumps, and then for 11 to 18 year olds, it's six sugar lumps. So let's put this into perspective and something a bit more visual. Well, let's use this as a guide. One sugar lump, which is about one teaspoon, is roughly equal to four grams of sugar. But what does this look like in terms of food? Well, one packet of Smarties is about 24 grams, and that's your daily allowance of sugar for anyone aged 11 to 18. And one packet of Skittles, on the other hand, is about 33 grams, which is just over seven sugar lumps. And that's the recommended amount for seven to 10 year olds. Now, what about adults? Well, for an average adult male, the recommendations are that they should get no more than 150 calories from sugar, which is about nine teaspoons. And for women, it's 100 calories, which is equal to about six teaspoons. Again, what does this really look like? Well, one can of Coca-Cola is 140 calories of sugar, which is just under a man's daily allowance. And one Snickers bar is 120 calories of sugar, which is over a woman's recommended allowance for the day. So we've taken a look at the added sugars in some sweets and fizzy drinks and how it relates to adults and children. It's worth talking at this moment about honey and syrups. Although strictly speaking, they are not made with added sugar, gram for gram, they are very sugary. But 100 grams of honey will give you about 82 grams of sugar. So do bear in mind the amount of these that you consume. When we talk about trying to reduce sugar, we need to consider that all these guidelines of added sugars are an averaged out amount. What I mean is that you don't have to stick rigorously to these guidelines each day, but over the course of the week, you just need to be mindful that you're not exceeding the daily average. You can have added sugars and as treats and as part of a whole balanced diet, but have it in moderation. And why not swap maybe one chocolate bar for an apple? For the rest of today's session, we're going to look at where other sugars are in the foods that we eat. At this point, I'm going to talk a little bit about carbohydrates. As I'm sure you know, when carbohydrates break down, they turn into sugars. And broadly speaking, we can split them into good and bad. Or put another way, some which are complex and some which are simple. This is simplifying the picture, but I think for the purpose of today's session, it will leave a clear idea in your minds. Broadly speaking, simple carbs are ones that are broken down very quickly into simple sugars and are rapidly absorbed into our bloodstream. These are cakes, pastries, cookies and white breads. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates are foods such as whole grains, vegetables and fruits. It takes our bodies much longer to break these ones down and so release sugar much more slowly into our bloodstream. In nutrition, the name we have for this is the glycemic index, and this ranks the foods that we eat. If you're interested in this, we can talk about this later in another session. Before we end today, let's have a look now at some other sugars that exist in our food, but you don't have to be concerned about limiting. They do contribute to your daily calorie intake, but aside from sugar, they provide you with fibre, minerals and vitamins, all of which are crucial for a balanced diet. Firstly, you can find sugar, your lactose, in milk and yogurts. You can find fructose in fruits and vegetables. You really don't have to worry about the quantities of these that you consume, obviously within some moderation. When it comes to dried fruit and tropical fruits, do be mindful of the quantity you are consuming. Just think, how many grapes or apricots would you eat in one go? And when you're having the dried version, you can quite easily eat three or four times as many as they are so moorish. There is just one slight word of caution that I should mention with fruit smoothies and fruit juices. Make sure you choose the ones with no added sugar and also try to limit your intake to 150 ml per time you consume one 
to avoid teeth decay. We will be covering this in more detail later in the course. Thank you for listening today everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the talk and have learned where to find sugar in the foods and how much you should have on a daily basis. I look forward to speaking to you all again next week. Stay safe and goodbye.